Hey guys. Hey. Okay. Rebecca Gail Ross. This is season three, episode eight. Mm -hmm. uh, Flashes flash before your eyes. eyes. So last episode, we got a little bit more backstory about Juliet. Juliet. Um, where I guess she was, um, was it she using some medicine to get people pregnant without the man, I guess? So just cut that dude out all completely and get these people pregnant, I guess? Which um, is, well, it's just, she's a fertility yeah. doctor. Fertility and... doctor, which I think, they're, like, which I find so interesting. It's, I don't think, isn't this based on something in real life? I think that they were, they were trying to do this earlier, like in the 2000s and stuff like that. They were trying to uh, create um, good group females pregnant without, you know, I think they had some spell or whatever in it because you need it, but it was without, you know, I think this is based on something true. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, this is how, yeah. you know, if, if you can't, if you're having trouble yeah. having a child, there's other ways to have a child. Yeah. So, you know. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, what else we got going? I mean, even though we do get the, the backstory of Juliet, you know when we get backstories, I'm like, oh, I see them in a different light, you know, a little bit. But with Juliet, I didn't really see them. I mean, except for the fact that her husband was an asshole. Um, I... Th how am I gonna ask for saying this? I still don't know if I'm sympathetic to the character yet. You know, um, like I'm <laughs> like oh, I'm gonna look at her in a whole new light. You know, um, like what happened to her sister? Did her sister pass away? Did she have the baby? You know, um, hopefully we can get a little bit more information on that. You know. Well, it was just a little. I'm sure we're gonna get, yeah, we'll more, get more on her. The thing is that when we did the the back, you know, when we looked at, you know where she was originally yeah. compared to where she is on the island, there's definitely, it's, she's definitely a different person. Yeah. Than when, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, so, she's definitely more from a nice, like, sh like sh not nice, but like, sort of like, um, scared of her husband type person to, if well, she she's... met, if she met her husband right now on this island, she would kill that motherfucker. Because she put a gun to Sora's head and to Kate and, did she kill a guy to get sword in them off the island? So, you know. I don't think she was, like, scared of her husband. But I think what it is, you know, she had to keep it on the down low. Because she, I think she was worried that he was going to take it away from her yeah. or whatever. And he wanted to. He wants to do more. Like, was, he yeah more stu uh, studying on it. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't want to do that. She wanted to do something. And with, something was also with know. that, what's called with that, um, I think her company that bought her out or whatever. Or who bought her thing. Because... Originally, when she, when her husband got hit by the bus, I immediately said that was the biggest fucking writing because I believe when TV shows and movies when they kill a character off like that, I me I hate it. But going back to that episode, uh, putting it together, um, and I think I caught it too in that episode if I'm not mistaken. Um, she said that she wished her husband get hit by a bus or something like that. Yeah. And that company did that, so yeah. that made it kind of like these people. Are clearly down for murder, you know. So you know, like they, they really want her in their fucking. I think we see it in different ways because you you consider it lazy writing. Um, no, I don't I really consider no, it. No, 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 no. I'm not saying lazy writing in this show. This episode, it made a point. Yeah. You know, like it played into the story. You know, that's why I'm not mad at it in this show. I'm talking about other shows and other movies when they immediately get hit by. But I've seen them. Other sitcoms and TV shows and movies, they, a, a character gets hit by a bus and they die. You know, didn't it happen like in Mean Girls or something like that? It's like, come on. Yeah. You know, so it's like stuff like that. I'm like, a bus is not going to be flying down a fucking road on a horse call, you know? It was stop. It was see, you know? It's not a fucking train, <laughs> you know? They'll push the brakes. I mean, if it was a train, it's a completely different uh, scenario. Okay, first of all, it's not like when a, a bus sees something, they can stop instantly. It's a big bus. It's depending on how many people are on the bus. Um, it'll take longer to slow down. No. Because there's more weight on the bus. No. If it's on a step on the curb, yeah. they'll not be flying like that. If they are, they need to fucking... License referred to, okay? <laughs> okay, that, that's well, the parking lane. You know what? Maybe that bus, maybe they're way. late. You know how sometimes they're always late? So they're just going fast. To get to go, they're going you, fast to get to the others. If you're going to the gutter, pouring to like a step one, you are you should be slowing down. You have to be going 50 on that. Okay? I wish there was someone. Is there anyone on here who's a bus driver or I'm sorry. knows a bus driver? I'm curious to know what they think about that. Okay, 
you guys probably fast forward to the intro, uh, the reaction. Right no, I love it. It's, it's, it's a little shit like that. It pisses me off. <laughs> oh my you know? god. That's why when I saw it, I was really pissed off. But this show is completely different because they um, it played into the story, you know, by the company did it. Yeah. So that's what I'm just saying, you know. Okay. You know? Let's <laughs> just get to it. If you guys can get the full reaction, um, please check out the Patreon. Links in the description down below. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, let's get into it. That's it. Yeah. So Desmond, it's that so raven. <laughs> That's so raven. I love that show. I love that show. Like I said, I watch that show. It's like a I'm classic there. Disney Channel show that. When I'm editing all these shows, I'm watching yeah. that show. Oh, they're taking Sawyer stuff. You're looking at this all wrong. You want us to do this. <laughs> yeah, right. The ransack. You just come with me. Oh, you guys find that girl? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They don't know. They don't know that he's dead? No. I think they wanted to keep it a secret because they were afraid people were going to get scared or something. Yeah. Wow. That girl was dead. We found his body in the jungle. Better than yesterday. What did you What do you mean, the island killed him? You know what it means. With the doctor gone, the camp's on edge enough without people having to worry about what's out here in the jungle. They're going to look to you two to see how to react. Hey guys, what's wrong with this one? Oh, is he seeing someone drown? I don't know. First time. Oh, is that clear? I went for a walk. I offered to watch the video. Oh, is it her? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it is her. Why the fuck is she swimming? What? I'm just wondering, like, how the hell you can get that? Just give me some room. Clark! Clark! Get back, Charlie. I know what I'm doing. She's breathing? She's not breathing? They said that method don't work no more. Just chest compressions, that's it. You don't have to breathe into her mouth. Which I wonder why people keep changing shit like that. Come on, Charlie. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come how did he you know she was drowning? I'll tell you how he knew. How? That guy. He's psychic. He sees the future, dude. Yeah. He sees the future, dude. Well, yeah, because he already knows a little bit because of the speech and everything. Are we getting his backstory? Oh, no, no, no. He's on that one. She's beautiful. No, she's good. I'll uh, say thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Save my life. I said, I'm. Nick, if you had me. Claire? I don't know. Call me. I don't know. Oh, you're only going to be five minutes. Aaron's starving. Yeah, um, sorry. <laughs> she can't be longer than I five know. fucking oh, minutes? Yeah, For real, man. What happened to she didn't stick a shit? Thank you. Oh. Damn. Thank you so much. Well, whatever happens then, we're going to have to find out what it is. You don't seem very thankful, though. I know, for real. You literally just saved your girl. I know. Like, Why do you care about us? Like, I would talk to him. I would, I would be kissing his ass if I you know. did that. For real. It's so, all like, don't talk to him. Come over here. How did you know? It's like... It's not a little bit too much time drunk, because of like... Yeah. Be good for his brother. I don't He doesn't need to drink if he doesn't yeah. want to. Damn. What if he's a fucking alcoholic? Take a drink. Go somewhere else. Oh. <laughs> that was not funny like that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he is. Yeah. She swore like a duck in a cracking set of knockers. She, she was only in the farmer's daughter. Let me ask you something. Anything else? How'd you know Claire was trying? Oh, yeah. you just slid right in there, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> it was just... I could hear a call for help. I know you did. You're like a mile away. <laughs> well, I suppose I... 
right outside Claire's tent. Oh. And is... then we found Claire. Oh, so you think she's like... I don't know what you're doing. Oh, do you think she's like... You best tell us. He, 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 oh, she keeps being watched with her eye? I don't know. But and like, that's why what is the her? odds of... Yeah. What are you doing? What is he doing? But I know a coward when I see one. Why are you calling him a coward? He's fucking <laughs> saved her! <laughs> He's like, damn! Again, right? Apparently. What the fuck? You all right? This is that flat. Uh huh. Yeah, he went back in time. If you want me to feel at home here, you might start calling it our flat. How many fingers, Dad? Or did he go? Further? I would think he was in paradise, really. I mean, if, if you yeah. did that thing, I, I would assume I would probably die. Yeah. This can be paradise, right? Oh, they say he went backward or forward or something, but he's off the fucking island. Or is this. I don't know what, what this is. Is he. Is this an actual memory or is this happening? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we're just guessing right now. He probably didn't. Go back. He could just. This could be a reward. It's not my job. I want him to respect me. Respect you, he shall. But if for some reason he's too daft to see how brilliant you are, it's not the end of the world. What did you say? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Just uh. Just had a bit of deja vu, that's all. Deja vu. Got a castle here for 8.15. Excuse me. What did you say? I said delivery for 8.15. Job you were an actor, did Um, I was actually set design for the Royal Shakespeare Company. Impressive. You didn't graduate from university. No, sir. I have to look after my three brothers after my father. Any military experience? Damn, you didn't want to finish the sentence? She's beautiful. You won't. My foundation is sponsoring a solo race around the world. Mm. I'll speak to human resources. Uh, with all due respect, sir. I haven't come here to interview for a position in the company. You're up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I came here to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. We've been together two years now. Parents moving in. And I love her. A noble gesture. I will fucking get to know him a little bit better. Let him know me a little bit better before I fucking just... Spring you know anything about whiskey? Uh, no, I'm afraid no, sir. This is a 60-year McCutcheon. McCutcheon. Oh, Steamed Admiral from the Royal Navy. He retired. This swallow is worth more than you could make in a month. Well, he drank the whole bottle. Disgrace to the great man who made <laughs> Oh my god. Because you, you will never be a great man. But you're not. You're worthy of drinking my whiskey. Well, guess what? I'm fucking your daughter. Oh, you so. be worthy of my daughter. <laughs> well, guess oh. what? I am, bitch. Yeah. I'm fucking your daughter. <laughs> Is that me? That's what I would say. Oh, oh Charlie. Oh. Small world. How do I know? Oh, he's on the uh, 
Same place, different time, maybe? We just both agree that I wasn't exactly qualified. Well, I say we celebrate. I say we celebrate that fate has spared your miserable existence under the employ of Whitmore industry. See, she doesn't even care. Yeah, she doesn't see what she does, but she probably will. She probably disinherits. Yes, I agree. On the occasion, and I love you. Yeah. Well, that's what we're She was the freaking, uh, <laughs> yes man. Um, oh, yeah. Have you seen one with Jim Carrey? I have just the thing. Yeah, I think she was also in a Mark Wahlberg movie, too. Oh, the mom. Uh, this won't blind any queens. I think I remember what the movie was. Still? I'll take it. I'm oh, sorry? It's perfect. Take it. No, you won't. Give me what I can give it to you. Well, you offered to buy... What? You'll have second thoughts. You walk right out that door. So come on, let's have it. I don't know where you're on about. Don't buy the ring, Desmond. What? Three years of your life entering numbers into the computer until you are forced to turn that faith safe key. And if you don't do those things, Desmond David Hume, every single one of us is dead. Who, who are you? Do you like chestnuts? No. I love her. I'm going to spend the rest of my life with her. 
No, Desmond. You're not. Oh, that's the guy with the red shoes. Oh. You knew that was going to happen, didn't you? Is she, like, deaf or something? Why didn't you stop it? Why didn't you do anything? Had I warned him about the scaffolding, tomorrow he'd be hit by a taxi. If I warned him about the taxi, he'd fall in the shower and break his neck. The universe, unfortunately, has a way of course correcting. I think she's gonna die. You don't do it because you choose to, Desmond. You do it because you're supposed to. Yeah, I don't believe in this stuff. I believe you have a choice in everything. So, I don't believe this. I can choose whatever I want. Yeah, there you go. You may not like your path, Desmond. But pushing that button is the only truly great thing that you will ever do. Again, a second person is saying you will never be anything, or... Like, damn, what is wrong with these people? Ah, uh, what does it say? No, but does it all right? Ah, uh, I know. Look out. Ah, look out. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at uh, Here we go. See? Beautiful. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's the classic. Only five quid. Here we go, mate. Out of twenty. And that's the, the picture he had on the yeah. on the island. Tell you what. What? This relationship. What are you talking about? Yeah. I haven't got a job, I don't have any. I can't even afford five quid for a bloody photograph. Then get a job. Oh, it's easy fix. You deserve someone better. I know what I deserve. Yeah. I chose to be with you. I love you. Yeah, you yes. Won't happen too soon. You moving in, you in the rooms, you're changing things. You think, I, I don't even like red. <laughs> Why would you leave the flat? You're expensive flat. Don't do that. Yeah, I'm gonna slap you too. Pretend you don't care. Yeah. Don't you dare rewrite history. I left my expensive flat because you were too proud to live there, remember? If you want me to leave, then don't make this about what I do or don't deserve. He was too proud to live in her apartment. You have the decency to admit that you're doing this because you're a coward. Oh, that's what triggered him. We're not supposed to be together. You literally broke up with her after you guys are in public. Yeah. You just took a picture together. I, just... I mean, shit, it doesn't matter if she has millions to me and shit. Get a job. I mean, she got millions of dollars. And oh my god, that's so she wasted some money right there. No wonder it came up. Why would you throw it? I don't know, bro. Sell um, it. Yeah, this is the. I had the wrong night. Yeah, I had the wrong night. I was night. right. I was off by a night, I heard the song, and then I remember this. Why are you guys making some get pushed? Jimmy Lennon. Where the hell's my money? Yeah. Hey, don't throw up. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, well, this would give that guy a heads up and then bounce. <laughs> Fair FYI, the guy's gonna come over and hit you in the face. Bye. Now it makes sense yeah. why he why he's been missing. I'm like, cause like, where was he? No, I think his body was gone. I think his subconscious was gone back in time. How'd you know Claire was drunk? I could hear her call for help. You were uh, near the lightning as well. Yeah, it's like that. You pitch your little rod outside Claire's tent. You can't change it, no matter what you try to be, you just can't change it. Hmm. Wank it. Let's get him to his tent. Come on, give me your arm. 
Sorry I called you a coward. You should be. I know, right? Well, Desmond. You are going to tell me what happened to you. Those flashes, Charlie. Those flashes, they didn't stop. So, you tell me you saw a flash of Claire drowning this morning. So you knew how to save her. I was, I was saving you. Huh? This morning, you dug in after Claire. You try to save her, but. So the lightning hit the roof. You were electrocuted. Oh. And when you heard Claire was in the water, you, you drowned trying to save her. I dove in myself, so you never went in. I tried, brother. I tried twice to save you, but the universe has a way of course yeah. correcting it. Let's see the guy with the red shoes. I can't stop it, brother. You can't do it forever. No matter what I try to do. You're gonna die, Charlie. Oh. <laughs> and I, oh! <laughs> I mean, you can't really leave me on a cliffhanger about Charlie fucking dying. But then again, I just don't really care for the character all that much. But I think his. Wow. I think it's this. Here's a question How do you know it's Charlie? Because in both of those visions, Claire was in that those things. Yeah. Like she was drowning. I mean, if Charlie went over there to save her from drowning, that means clearly she drowned too. Or, or, or maybe someone else got in and was able to save her, and she was. Well, what's fine? the odds of that happening? I really feel like that. It, yeah, but we didn't see those those flashes, yeah. in it, but he he is saying it, yeah. so I'm assuming that's what his. But again, what, that's I, what his flashes are saying. And then he said that he got rescued next to Claire's. Um, tent which indicates again both of them are there so i think i think that the show's gonna do a 180 like you think it's charlie you think it's charlie but the end of the season is probably gonna be claire because mm. they're both in the visions you know i mean unless there's another vision and she's not involved but right now that's my theory i think that the show tried to do a bait switch you know maybe um, as for the episode as a whole, I thought it was very good. I thought it was a nice change of pace, like a different type of episode. Normally, we always go back and forth between the island and stuff at this one. This one is like, I felt like it was, um, sort of like, um, I think it was an X-Men movie where his mind went back in time, but his body stayed still. So I think that's what happened in this episode. I was a little, like, disappointed yeah. in... <laughs> How Desmond was with Penny. Yeah, me too. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I, maybe because, I mean, so he he originally already made those mistakes. Yeah. So I think that he, that already happened happened, right? Yeah. So, I, and maybe he's just going along with it yeah. to go with the program or what that lady is saying. Yeah. But I don't know why he made those. Yeah, it's just personally. I don't. I don't. Maybe I just don't understand. I think but, it's just. Maybe we're looking at it because we're modern. You know, a Mar couple. This is an older couple. I mean, I don't think Mar is it. What I'm saying, not, not about Mar. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Back <laughs> like, then, you know, people like, especially guys, they're like, oh, I need to prove to the father that I'm worthy for the daughter. Personally, me, I don't give a fuck. I mean, respectfully, I hope, of course. Uh, my I dad is like, just, yeah, but I love I will, you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I hope your dad. I, I know your dad likes me, but even if your dad didn't like me, no, but it's like his. Like, so, no, I just felt like because the dad yeah. is like, yeah. he doesn't like it, now you're just going to mess everything yeah. up with her. Exactly. And I Pers don't understand. But again, personally, not to put you off, personally, like I said, I wished he'd done something a little differently. If you went back in time, if you wanted to be worthy or whatever, like I said, I would be doing a lot of ass kissing to the father, you know? I mean, I was, well, this is a perfect opportunity for him to know me, not just, like, this is the first interview. Say, like, oh yeah, I fucked the dude interview. I'm here wanting to marry your daughter. I'm like, no, give it some time, you know? Like, uh, he said earlier later on the episode that he doesn't even have a job. Take the opportunity to get a job, you know? Who the fuck doesn't have a job? I mean, oh, he's like babe, a grown ass man. Babe, 
that's a little hard to say right now, okay? You can get a job! Baby, baby, just say that, first of all. Anything could happen for someone to lose a job, okay? So, I know, but then, then I know people, things happen, but then you get a job. I know, you, you basically say it don't work out. I'll hate for you to be there, a fucking homeless person. Get a job! <laughs> no, okay, no, See, I'm not saying that. So, exactly, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of mean to say that. No, you know? I'm just, no. I've always, first of all, I've always had two jobs since I was like 19. Me too. I've yeah. always had two jobs. Yeah. And but um, I think in this scenario, again, again, the, not everyone's grace, but in this scenario, Damon should have took his time instead of immediately wanting the answer, you know? Like, well, immediately asking for He could have got a job at, like, at yeah. McDonald's and just something to say that you're okay. employed. Right? Babe, that would be even worse. This is like a fucking CIO, I'm billionaire. Who cares? And, and you see, you're telling me your daughter's going to be marrying someone who works at fucking McDonald's cashier. So, I mean, come on. so? Okay, also, okay. But this is different. If he works for the father, um, and, you know, does a little ass kiss and like, hey, you want to go golfing on Tuesday or some shit like that? You know? No, do you know how rude he was? If he... If you, if he's acting like that with him, mm -hmm. he's like, oh, you, you're not worthy enough to, to, to drink this, you know, Yo, shot yeah. of whiskey. To, he's, this man's never going to change. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to put all this effort into I this man so, that's yeah. so disrespectful. I guess and you're right. if my father was like that, I would, I would say, don't, don't listen to him. He's, yeah. he's crazy. I mean, I guess he, he, he always say, you know what, I only listen to it. Like, you always see them, what, once a year or twice a year. You know, like for the holidays, like the holidays would be a little different, but but here's the thing though, he could disinherit Penny, you know, both be broke, but again, there you go, that's one big war happening. But I'm sometimes, assuming. um, you can't, uh, damn it, this is a movie, um, I'm quoting here that you can't fall on and just love, you need to have, you know, something stable, you can't just because love can really be tested if you're fucking broke. Okay, it's easy when you're fucking rich, <laughs> but when you're broke as fuck, you, it's a it's tough hard. life. But guess what? A lot yeah. of broke people are married yeah. and have a life together. Yeah. So I'm, that doesn't make no sense. No, but there's I'm a lot saying, of people that are broke no, that are I'm together. Saying, okay, right now, Desmond has not even two nickels to rub this <laughs> each other. Okay. Now imagine. Well, Penny, he can get a fucking. You can get a Imagine job. Penny in the exact same situation. She has no money. They're both homeless. Okay, cars we possessed, everything. The house was being just What the fuck are you gonna do? At least we love each other. No, you need to then, have. Well, they are grown adults. You know, they can get a job. Yeah. I don't understand what they. I... Exactly. They can get a job. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing where um, I think uh, you're right. That's what he. But I think he wants to prove the father more than a job. That's more than it is. I feel like you know. I think it's more important instead of proving so much to the father-in-law, he needs to prove to himself that yeah. he feels like he's worthy to be with Penny. Now, it seemed like he was just fine, but then once he met him, now he is having all these doubts. Yeah. And to me, that's an issue, because yeah. I want to be with someone who believes in themselves. Exactly, you know? yeah. Don't um, get don't get brought down by this yeah, man, like, you know? Yeah, and I guess Penny also could have warned the father, too. I mean, it's not warned Desmond about, hey, my father's an asshole. There's a good chance he's not going to like you. So yeah, I would probably have warned you. Why didn't you warn yeah. the dad? Because you were warned. Like you, uh, remember when we went to what's called you were what you um, told me some people about your family members. Like, hey, Victor, just heads up, certain family members, you know, to stay clear of, and that was a huge help. But if I went over to him and says, "Hey, such and such," I mean, no, <laughs> you know, because I feel like. Um, that's what she should have done. I think we're bit. just going way too long about this Penny and Desmond there. Well, that's like, what the whole sorry. episode kind of feel like. Yeah, I know, you know, I know. So I feel like... Just let us know what you guys think. I'm curious what you yeah, guys think about I, this. I just feel like, um... <laughs> personally, I would have made different decisions, you know? If I got to go back in time and do some changes or... I mean, I guess it, I would have done some stuff different, but again... Would that make Yeah, but you, you can't. Yeah, so just you can't with what you can do. But he had the opportunity to do that. He made the same decisions. But again, I know which is why I was pissed off. I was yeah. like, <laughs> but it sounds like what they're doing is whatever this this we have to talk to this old lady again because yeah. she has more information. No, what the fuck did this chick her off? Like, I don't she know. Anything? I don't the know. The same thing happened to her. Was she on the fucking island? Oh my god, she Kate. I don't know. Fair. <laughs> she could be well. She has a British accent, so she wouldn't be Kate. Uh, 
But again, again, that chick moves everywhere. Every, like, so she could adopt a British accent. Um, anyway, guys, fantastic, fantastic episode. If you guys want to get the full reaction, check out the video. Hey, no, no, no.